book there and I just hadn't found it and the people online were wrong, please tell me because I'd like to know and I don't remember if I found a tar thing on there. So, okay. Uh, one moment. Let me save it. Alright. So, saved it. Let's look through some of those books we got. Um, I'm going to put some of the stuff in my box too before I start. Because I have too much clutter in my book collection. Uh, right. No, it's in this one. Okay. Let's get rid of some of these scrolls at least. And a lot of these uh, random notes and things like that. Deed to Venner's Manor, don't need that. want to get some of this clutter out of here. Scrap from the Logbrun's Diary. the caster and those around her. Anyone caught by the tsunami is stunned and blown back. Targets with the high fire resistance receive frost damage. Targets with the high frost resistance may be frozen for a period. Huh. That's interesting. So use it against Nords and Dark Elves. I'm assuming. Um, let's look through them. Water bolt. Small bolt of water shoots forth from the caster's hand, causing moderate water magic effect on the target. Water burst. A water burst casts a wave of water outward from the caster's position. Any object within range will be forced away from the caster and receive a water spell effect. Uh, we can try that. Um, I need some more. Uh, gold nuggets though. I'm gonna have to get some of those. Water globe forms a swirling ball of water that precedes the caster. The first living target uh, that touches the globe is engulfed and suspended helplessly for 30 seconds. Hmm. Let's try that. It's uh, greater osmotic and arcane essence. Which means we're gonna have to get some essences. And I'm gonna just get all my um hold on. Hold on. Need to go into here, get all these ascendant sigil stones. And I only have 150 pounds so I can can't carry it all, so Let's 
just use all these ascendant ones, they're weak. And then we put them all in here. If you're wondering where I got all these, it's uh, from the... Um, testing hall. Uh, I got them in an earlier set if you haven't seen it. Okay, I need to separate all these. And now we have those. And now we need to combine on high. And they gave us some lesser and some greater. And we're gonna take all those. And I need an Osmotic and a Arcane Essence, plus a Golden Nugget. Arcane, Osmotic. And I need a Golden Nugget, which I'm not sure if I have anymore. No, I don't. So let's uh, get a few of those. Um, I need the miscellaneous codes. I'm going to Let's look for gold nugget. There we go. And gold nugget is four nine eight. Zero eight. I'm gonna just make fifty of them. There we go. Okay, now we have to cast. Oops. I cast uh, a spell on it, and I'll probably just use Forge Choke. Okay, now this is considered an offensive spell, so we don't want to use it against anybody. We don't want to have what we'd like. So let's uh, make a few, and then we'll use them. And that's Midas Water Globe. Right. Um, water shell. This spell covers the caster in a shell of water, increasing the caster's damage resistant and making him immune to fire. Cool. Water spray. Mm. A torrent of water sprays forth from the caster's uh, stunning opponents targets with high fire resistant receive fire, uh, frost damage targets with high frost damage uh, may be frozen okay you already saw that with the tsunami one um, I think we did the book of armaments already but I just want to look through it again holy blaze uh, oh that's that sword the uh, angels use uh, holy hand grenade, confession. The caster taps inner strength to bind the ca uh, target to his will. This leaves the caster fatigued and vulnerable to attack for a time. Huh. Uh. Oh, I forgot to start the timer again. I'm just gonna put it on for a couple of minutes less. There. Okay, detect undead. Just. Instructions end. This powerful but difficult to control master level spell uh, it summons forth a ball of holy energy a few hundred yards in front of the caster that erupts in a burst of energy. Anything inside is instantly killed. Woohoo! Um, it's a master level spell. It's probably restoration, which I don't have that high. Fist of fire. 
Fist of Shock, Fist of Frost, Mighty Fists of Fire. It's a more powerful one. Mighty, uh, imagine, uh, bleh. Fist of the Master. The Kai Master can channel magic into physical strikes, inflicting fire, frost, and shock damage. This is like all those combined. Strong elixir of exploration and greater life essence. Hmm. Glyph of warning, or warding, creates a magical glyph at the caster's feet that enemies are forbidden to cross. Ooh, it requires a jade nugget, which you can't really, there's no item code for it unless you get one and figure it out. Healing force. A forceful explosion pushes enemies away, simultaneously restoring the caster's health. I like it. Uh, Ambrosia and Greater Sonic Essence. Probably I'll need to get Ambrosia, which is an uh, ingredient. Ambrosia is here. I don't need 50 of them, I'll just take one. And that would be 704A0. And what was the other part of it? Hold on. Healing force. Greater sonic essence. Uh Ambrosia. Greater Sonic Essence and a Gold Nugget. Okay. We'll go to the next one. Uh, Book of Sands. Dust Devil, those are those swirling uh, whirlwinds that proceed to cast a spell damages health of the target for the duration of the exposed uh, dust storm. This spell conjures a blinding dust storm. It Pairs all those caught in it, including the caster. The effect slows targets and drains fatigue, and renders marksman skill useless. Only works outdoors. Hmm. Sand vortex. Spell conjures searing cloud of sand centered on the caster, damaging and blinding opponents. Sandstone heart. That's the. Thing I got from that giant creature, I think. I think you can only use it on that, so I might as well. Gold nugget and a sandstone heart. I'll do that. It's uh, not an ingredient. Sandstone heart. And gold nugget. Probably this is a master level spell, so I don't know. Could be 